previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, darling. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. The Queen is dead. I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. The final Queen. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. Remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop off point. Hello, everyone. Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelation. Swimming missions in this one. Uh, there she is, Queen Dido. That's the Queen Dido, the third queen. Well, at least I don't have to worry about finding air this time round. Come on. Here we go. I doubt those shells will still work, but... He died a human, more or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Unlikely. 
something's still alive. Careful, you won't be able to fight them off underwater. Why do I not have a harpoon gun? Or any of those pulse grenades. That was entirely my fault. <laughs> Holding A will power your physical attacks. Oh good, a pulse grenade. It looks like it's dead. What? That didn't kill you? couple of post grenades now. If the power still works, apparently. Jill, the door's open. Okay, on my way back. Let this fat get to his. To his routine, his route. I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. Hi. I haven't died multiple times. Okay. Let's move in. Okay. So now it lets me pick up my ammo. Why would it let me do that before? There's still air. Interesting. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. NBC agent. He's FBC. There's something in his hand. All right. Voice recorder. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Well, Tro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. Oh. Hmm. That sounded delightful. Oh, this all looks familiar. You're dead, that's a good thing. Oh my god. Okay, for Turkish 1986, a martyr who died for the Vulture Course. And since 2005, this woman was a strong will. He almost. What? He almost what? From a strong will, he almost fought off his mutation. Not only loyal to Veltri, but also a loyal friend. Rest in peace. A bunch of martyrs to their cause. But Leone, for, for his love for his wife, was matched only for his love, love matched only by his love for Veltri. I will always serve the cause, even if I am no longer myself. Lydia Leon, may your children grow up in a world not corrupted by lies and deceit. Green herb. No. 
They were counting the days after the wreck. How did they manage to survive an entire year in here? That is a very good question. Dante's the Divina, an offering to the dead. A passage has been underlined. How the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make a shelter for the other, oft turn themselves the wretched reprobates. Inferno Canto number six. There is something written on the edge by the page in the sloppy handwriting. Those who offer their lives to the doctrine forever walk the path of the great Jack Norman. Jack Norman was the head of Veltra. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Right. Better swap out some weapons. Uh, right, what can we give you? Critical. Swap you out. The handgun. There we go. Anything else in here? Yes, there is. Right. Yes. That could be useful. That's where I came through. Right. Oh, this one's a bit different. Vengeance of God. Oh, how much artest thou? I am trying to be dreaded. Who doth read? That which was manifest unto mine eyes. Pape Satan, Pape Satan, Alepe. Yes. Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh and his own figure, shall hear what through eternity re echoes. Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! 
You right there, buddy? Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. All oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. Oh, good. Good, now we've got it. This is it. We got the evidence. That's very true. Stop. Morgan, behold the terror which you have unleashed. Press on though, because I feel like we're getting close to the end. Oh good, a tyrant. Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use. He's gone over the edge. I'm sorry, what? Stop breaking the phone. Okay, that's bollocks. I'd run past you. Oh, fucking hell. Don't do this crap, get up. This is ridiculous. How? Get up!
go fuck off. Well, I can't dodge him and I can't hit him. One eternity later. Not getting the sneak up on me again. I think I've got your tactics work out, it's just just the timing. Whoa. Definitely not. Look at the state of it, really. Fuck. point As an enemy, he's probably one of the most standout bosses from the entire series. He's got such a unique ability. used to a minimum. Good. It's it's the third round where I'm struggling to maintain learn his tactics. Got these first two ones down. Oops. 
shit. Mess that up. Yes! Is that it? Oh, thank Christ. God, he's... he was tough. how Morgan treats his friends. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. Alright, let's see what's on this little device. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine? Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? 
that the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. <laughs> Awkward. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA. And perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are hereby relieved of your position as FBC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Beltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. <laughs> with all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? The Queen is indeed dead. Death's three. Oh, oh, that hurts. That B hurts. God damn it. Well, that ends this chapter and this episode. I, su I suspect the next episode will be the last. Oh, I've got no option to save. Alright, we'll carry on then. I guess it's over. finally reveal what happened in Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. The BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. Oh, they survived! Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Valkyrie. Yeah, that place. Quinton Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSAA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Yay, Parker! Parker was, fa was found adrift ashore of the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. Alright, and what happened to Raymond? After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a Special Operations Agent for BSAA's main headquarters. Yeah. Ivar O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and stepped down from his position as head of the BSAA. Makes sense. He 
He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and is also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. And as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Well. Well. There it is. That brings our time with Revelation. Oh no. After credit scene. Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. Whoa! And by the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. Uh, so Raymond was in on it the whole time. Barrel shotgun. That's got to have some kick to it. Congratulations! You can now use the save data to start a new game with all of your equipment intact. Would you like to save, uh, save the clear data? Yes! There we go. Done. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, ends our time with Revelations. But we will be back tomorrow or next week, depending when this goes up with Resident Evil 5. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil Revelations, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.